The Dangers of Processed Foods It does not come as a surprise to anybody that processed foods are dangerous. What does come as a surprise, however, is that they are still allowed on the shelves, despite the havoc that they wreak on our bodies and minds. Eating unhealthy food isn't just a personal choice to some people. Sometimes, because of the way the economy works, people in poverty are forced to turn to processed foods because they are cheap and an easy way to feed large families on a low budget. The hard thing about that is that these foods ultimately cause medical problems down the line that cost even more money than it would take to feed a large family healthy, sustainable options. Ultimately, it seems that people with little money are suffering either way. Even if you don't have to feed a family on a budget, processed foods are simply unhealthy. Part of what makes them so addicting is their high fat and sugar content. They are often boxed meals that include pastas and an exceptional amount of sugar. Excessive sugar is dangerous in general, but especially to people who are prone to developing type 2 diabetes. If you consume sugar in high amounts, you are ultimately going to overload your body. And not only will you more than likely become obese, you will also develop health issues. Sugar can help speed along the process of diabetes because of the fact that it causes insulin resistance to occur, which ultimately makes it difficult, if not impossible, to control your blood sugar levels. If you eat foods like this excessively, such as for every meal, or at least every day, there is bound to be a negative consequence. Consuming that high amount of fat and sugar on a consistent basis can lead to not only diabetes and obesity, which are commonly known, but also heart disease and even cancer. This is especially dangerous, and if possible, processed foods should be avoided at all costs. Another danger of eating processed foods is that not only are they addicting, but they are highly artificial. Most of the ingredients in those foods are not nourishing the body. Rather, they are leading us to feel full while depriving our bodies of the essential nutrients that are required in healthy functioning. When we are eating a diet that is bland and not nourishing, we are ultimately allowing ourselves to be dumbed down. We are not thinking properly, we are not moving properly, and we are not functioning at our highest possible potential. All of these things are highly damaging and can lead to poor coordination and even depression. On some level, we all know that processed foods are not as healthy as the types of foods that we should be consuming on a regular basis. Our bodies know it, even if our minds are not aware of it. And we suffer for it. We have stress about it. When we indulge in unhealthy foods, whether we are addicted to them or not, our bodies know it. And whether it's a subconscious occurrence or not, we often punish ourselves. We know that we are doing something wrong. We feel upset about it and dissatisfied, even if we are processing it in the moment. Processed foods are also high in artificial coloring. That has been proven to be highly carcinogenic. When we are eating foods that have fixed coloring in it, we are essentially swallowing dye. Would you want to eat hair dye? Not really. But these types of chemicals are what are used in your food. They stay in your body and do not come out. They dye your organs. They are highly dangerous and can lead to cancer. They are also full of preservatives. Processed foods stay on the shelf for a very long time, longer than is healthy and normal. Any typical bottle of milk would not last for months on end at a time. It would curdle and spoil. The same goes for cheese and other foods that you find in the shelves that have long shelf lives. Shelf lives are important for companies to establish because they are able to make more money if their food is able to stay on the shelf longer. They will do whatever it takes, whether it is healthy or not to the human body, to ensure that they are making the most money possible. Preservatives often include unhealthy and unnatural chemicals and excessive amounts of salt, neither of which are good for the body at all. Processed foods can lead to issues with the heart and hypertension because of the excessive amount of salt present in these foods. High blood pressure is a common occurrence among people who survive off of processed foods, and obesity and heart attacks are some of the number one killers in North America. This has absolutely everything to do with the standard American diet. The sad part about it is that even if you know it is unhealthy, the chemicals and high sugar and fat content make these processed foods extremely addicting. The body begins to crave them, and it can be almost as dangerous as a drug addiction. When you are addicted to a food that is neither nourishing nor healthy, it can have long-term consequences on your health and development. Another way that processed foods contribute to obesity is because we digest them far too quickly compared to foods that are rich in healthy dietary fiber. 
if we are digesting these foods quickly and they are not filling us up because we are not receiving the fiber that provides us with the full feeling, we are not even burning the same amount of energy as we would to digest healthy foods. This means that we eat more and digest less, leading to fast and rapid weight gain. The calories present in your body are much higher when you are on a diet of processed foods. You burn far more calories when you are eating healthy whole foods that are rich in dietary fiber. Unfortunately, this means that people who live and subsist on a diet of processed foods are ultimately going to gain weight whether they want to or not. And they will not provide you with the same amount of energy because they are not nourishing. They are likely to leave you tired and sluggish and feeling far too full because you eat a lot more of these unhealthy sugar-filled foods without feeling content. Processed food is not metabolized properly in our bodies. They are quickly turned to fat. Not only that, but they are high in fat. They are often full of hidden fat and sugars. Vegetable oil is one of the primary ingredients in many of these processed meals, along with things such as high fructose corn syrup, which is a huge culprit in weight gain. If every processed food on the shelves contained high fructose corn syrup, and most of them do, it is no wonder that North America is facing the worst obesity epidemic in world history. Hydrogenated oils are highly unhealthy because they do not break down. They remain in your body and become merged with the fat cells. These oils make fat far more difficult to burn off. They are harder to get rid of, and that type of stubborn fat can lead to obesity very quickly. The ingredients in processed foods lack most of the nutritional value that humans need in order to function at their highest potential. We need the fibers and the vitamins and minerals that are present in real food before we can truly thrive. If you find that processed foods can't be entirely avoided, they should be at least be eaten in moderation. They are dangerous. They can make us feel sluggish, irritable, and unhappy overall. Our dispositions can go from positive to negative when we go from a healthy diet and ultimately find ourselves consumed with nothing but processed foods that are too sugary, too fatty, and too unhealthy. Our bodies crave nutrition. The easiest and most beneficial thing you can do for yourself is to provide your body with that nutrition. It can be hard to get used to changing routines such as subsisting off of processed foods, and it can be very frustrating at times. You have to spend a lot more time in the kitchen cooking and taking your health and your meals into consideration. But ultimately, eating processed foods is something that can kill you and cut you off from yourself. You are actually consuming toxins and avoiding the foods that can act as antioxidants that will provide you with a chance to get rid of the waste that you are putting into your body. Processed foods are the same as junk foods. They are no different. They are healthier looking junk food. They are snacks in disguise. In order to become healthy and to actually feel healthy, avoiding processed foods at all costs is the first and most effective step that you can take. Don't let yourself be fooled by packaging that claims these foods are healthy. They are saturated with fat, sugar, and salt, and lacking in anything that gives your body nourishment. Do everything you can to change your habit of relying on processed foods. Eating healthy is easy and possible if you set your mind to it. Just remember the strategy of walking around the grocery store to pick up the fresh produce and meat as opposed to walking through the aisles that are full of dangerous and alluring packaging that is hiding the dangers of the processed food within. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.